What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. It's about Jeepers Creepers 4 again. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. This image you see here on your screen comes to us from Dina the Dead. Hot Sauce, who we know, I've talked about him in another video. He had some type of participation with the production of Jeepers Creepers Reborn. And some type of stand hit they had set up at the Horror Hound Festival that they have on display for the film. He has like a hot sauce that he's patented and started selling inspired by the film I believe as well. So he shared a couple behind the scenes images from when he was on set and the very first image in that collection of photos was this <laughs> better look at the new creeper design i'll say the ivan ooze jokes are coming through the best joke by far f i heard was from cody leach when he said that this looks like the hammer from 13 ghosts just to be more specific i would say this looks like that this looks like the hammer from 13 ghosts during his retirement years but it is important to again remember that we need to have the appropriate context before we actually say that you know the creeper design the new one is complete trash of course you could still prefer the old makeup but you know with the proper context who knows how this could ultimately look in a in a trailer he also shared this image of lane on a i'm gonna assume this would be on the creepers work table in the new house of pain with the creeper again this is being uh, being portrayed by jaru benjamin this time around jonathan breck was unfortunately replaced but hopefully jaru benjamin uh brings his own unique spin on the character while still i guess just keeping the character very menacing and terrifying in nature so whatever's going on in this scene i would hope it's not involving any type of ritual or anything maybe it's prior to the creeper about to cut out whatever part it wants from lane and then they break in and save her maybe something like that with chase and his uh other group of people that come together with him so this was an image that came out from a email alert that we all got this was like a first official still they announced that they'll be having some images coming out in the horror horror hound magazines over the coming months or weeks new issues until the film releases the the one thing i would say that stands out here in this image of chase and lane at the event is in the background as you see it zooming in that image of the screaming face that resembles a shot that you see in the trailer of or of the teaser that we got of lane screaming as well so kind of like foreshadowing of, of what's to come being depicted there in that image so those are all the images i want to talk about or show you so far before i started sharing again my in-depth thoughts on that new creeper design so the new creeper design i get it you know the ivan ooze jokes <laughs> uh wishmaster you know those are all still coming in they're all still hilarious but it's important to remember that while we may not like the new design, I would still say that you need to wait for the appropriate context, the, the CGI, of course, for one, the lighting. How are they going to actually display this on screen? Because uh, I think in the past, in another video, I actually did show you a better image of what was a more finalized look, I guess, of the creeper design as well. So that was an image of Dean's time on set prior to all the final touches being applied and again we still have not seen the creeper with all the other added effects the cgi all that stuff that we know jason raymond has provided an update on saying that that should be done by the end of the month of january so given how it actually appears on screen we'll have to wait to see how it looks in an official trailer they release or in an official official steal that they decide to release hopefully as well showing us the creeper uh maybe with, with appropriate lighting like i said before just the context and all that stuff is still is still very much important to how menacing this can actually look on screen i still yes would say i am in the in the in the band of uh preferring jonathan breck's makeup design that he had but of course i would imagine if jonathan breck actually was was to be brought back this is the makeup they would have gone with you pro we probably still would have said we prefer the old one but probably with a little bit more faith in it since jonathan Breck is the one portraying it so i think you know with a new actor that's also kind of where a lot of people are like on the fence about it so we have to wait and see how it actually comes out in the finished product in screen or on screen with all the added special effects that were being done during post-production so the scene that the other image again with lane on the table i'm i'm hoping that is not going to be involving any type of magical ritual or something like that we know the creeper has like telekinesis powers and we know that's like the only thing that they've shown us so far as far as like anything going beyond the apparent supernatural that we already know with the creeper in and of itself existing <laughs> uh it has some telekinesis powers we saw them on display in the third film we saw a tease of it in the second film but in the third film it was like front and center 
the budget of the third film made it, a lot of it come off as very cartoony and just goofy so if they bring that stuff back the vibe and the the tone of this film and what they're working with here versus what was available to them with the third movie if they bring that telekinesis or any more magical stuff into the mix you know maybe it comes off better this time around versus with a versus with the third film which was a complete letdown a complete train wreck honestly now to those of you who say that the third movie also has redeeming qualities please i'm willing to be convinced just let me know what those redeeming qualities are <laughs> other than jonathan breck who knocked it out of the park once again so that's really all i want to talk about with jeepers creepers for this time around hopefully we'll get some more official stills in the coming weeks from horror hound and just from that jeepers creepers email that you can subscribe to if you go to 23rdday.com i believe if that website is still up i think it still is and you subscribe to the newsletter and you'll get those alerts about those exclusive images that i guess we will expect to be seen in the coming weeks as they ramp up the marketing the other thing that i was informed of by a uh person who is friends i guess with someone who worked on the film is that the movie seems to be coming along together in terms of them find, putting together the final touches and the only thing that now we're waiting on of course would be figuring out what release dates are we going to get what are the release dates going to be uh i know i've talked about february for germany april for australia the states though is the for a lot of you who watch me who are in the states like myself i don't have a date for the states <laughs> there's no date that i've seen floating around out there i know australia is for april germany seems to be february apparently so hopefully over the coming weeks we'll get some official stills we'll get to get a better look at the creeper and hopefully all of the worries that you have will be put to bed or maybe they'll be heightened <laughs> by an atrocious look at the creeper just something about this movie i would say i i feel that they are going to be right behind the second film better than the third i would hate for us to just have a very very decently made movie but with an atrocious and off-putting creeper design i know that would be the worst you still say it's better than three but the creeper design kind of just takes you out of it i hope that's not the case but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video